this is courtesy of the times right bloody quite an infuriating article if you you know if you're asking me so this is courtesy of the times headline says as follows Paulina Poriskova, the supermodel who dared to look her age. Paulina Poriskova was once the world's highest paid model, but as she's hit her 50s, she says she was suddenly invisible. Now 56, she's leading a new wave of older women taking their place in the spotlight on the catwalk and flaunting on Instagram in her bikini. And, you know, again, the lady is fine to look at. She's obviously very attractive. She's obviously a one percenter in terms of her looks being a supermodel. Um, clearly, if you keep yourself in some level of good nick, you're going to be able to still be of that ilk when you're older too it's not like you're going to suddenly drop off a cliff and become like a, a flipping four or a three so you know she's still enjoying i think a life where she probably gets way more attention at her age than most 53 year old women do so i think that's a good thing but i also just think in general it seems to me pretty cringe lame um and just quite sad to see somebody her age kind of bemoaning the fact that she's not getting the attention that she used to get when she was younger it's like what did you expect that's what happens when you get older when you get older sometimes it gets harder to get out of bed it's harder to maybe go on back-to-back -back runs maybe you don't you know you probably breathe a little bit heavier when you're running upstairs um hangovers take longer to recover from maybe you miss out and you kind of you know don't get certain music or certain artists because again you're old as fuck that's kind of the tax you have to pay when you get older you can't be ever young in that regard you can't have everything in that regard too right if you're beautiful as he she is and you're great nick you have a head full of hair your you know your other bits and bobs seem to work then maybe sometimes you have to give up some other things in terms of maybe you're not getting invited to all the cool parties maybe you know and all the guys are looking at you when you go in certain places maybe you're not being considered for certain roles because of your age it just is what it is it's a fact of life and i think there is something quite i think admirable and quite um graceful no you're quite admirable yeah, something very admirable about just growing old gracefully and bowing out before the scene tells you to fuck off, right? Because that's always the nightmare that I have, especially when I go to clubs. You know me, I'm a fan of clubs. I'm a fan of DJing. Obviously, I DJ myself. Um, I'm always very conscious that I don't want to be the old guy in the corner of a club somewhere or the old guy pretending he's young in a club somewhere. I want to go there and appreciate the music. I want to have a good time, but I don't want to come across as if like I'm the old creepy guy at the back. No one wants that. And even more so nowadays with this, especially in London, it feels like there's a new resurgence in the clubbing space. There's a whole new energy there. Like I said before, there's like a, uh, there's like the reawakening of the club kid spirit. And all these kids are going out raving and looking amazing, right? They've got flat stomachs. They've got really tall skin. They've got these amazing faces face paints on and makeup and cool outfits that they made themselves and he'll go to fashion school or some cool creative thing that they're doing they got a project with this or this and that they live in flat shares where they're taking photo shoots on stairs and looking amazing and fabulous the last thing you want to do is impede on them right because this is their time this is meant to be this is their time to do their thing like i had my time when i was coming up this is their time so you don't want to kind of be the guy impeding on that so i'm always conscious of it in the back of her head always so if I'm conscious of it and I'm way, way younger than she is, imagine being how old she is and still thinking when you're going to fucking Art Basel or you're going to Coachella that you're going to get the same response as like a flipping Billie Eilish or something walking down the street. Like, what did you expect was going to happen? Like, really? Or like, what does she think? She thinks she's going to compete with Madison Bear in terms of, um, or Bia. Is that Bia? How you spell her name? Men's and Bia. Yeah, right? Does she think she's going to compete with, with those kind of girls in terms of getting the attention from young men? Like, is she for real? Like, what is wrong with these people, man? But the article, anyway, let's go in the article. It says the following. Um, everyone knows that walking into a party besides a supermodel is a terrible idea. But Paulina Poroskova is inviting me to do just that. She has a point to prove. She says, you have to come with me, she insists. Nobody believes me unless they see it. My girlfriends thought I was joking at first. Now they all witnessed it. What is, what is this party trick that which a 56-year-old sports illustrated swimsuit clad two-time cover star is proud? She was a sports illustrated cover star. Do you know how you do you know how good you got to look to be on sports illustrated cover star? Or to be on a sports illustrated cover? Maybe nowadays, you know, because of political correctness, you know, they put just about anybody on there to celebrate them. But back in the day, you'd have to be tall, ripped and tight in all the right places to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. That was like the piece de resistance, right? That meant not only were you athletically gifted, but you were also incredibly attractive. Like, you know how rare that is as a trait? <clears throat> to look like chris brown and also be very good at the sport you do <laughs> it continued <clears throat> it continued to says here 
um <clears throat> sorry my bad what's the party trick that are there what new skill has the once highest paid model in the industry named by Harper's Bazaar in 1992 as one of the America's 10 most beautiful women added to her repertoire? She says, I am now completely invisible, Proskov explains. I walk into a party, I try to flirt with guys and they will just walk away from me mid-sentence to pursue some 21-year-old, someone 20 years younger. I'm very single, I'm dressed up and I made an effort, nothing. So this old hag right going around whoring herself out in parties that she's probably not invited to trying to what trap some young guy who's obviously trying to hook up with some other young lady and then she's getting offended that the young guy doesn't want to talk to her it's like are you insane let's just imagine if a dude if like some 56 year old sports illustrated dude came on this what well, had the very same interview and it was a roles were reversed and he was like when i go to parties all these young girls don't want to talk to me They'd be calling him a predator. You're preying on younger women. Go home, granddad. But for some reason, they have to celebrate this lady. And again, like I said, I just think there's very, there's something very um unbecoming about a lady her age still trying to be an attention seeker at this big age of yours. Like, what are you doing? You've had all the fruits of, you've had all the fruits the world's had to give you, especially for winning the genetic lottery. Because she's not had to, you know, this is just luck. You get born the way she, she's born. You get blessed with the genetics that you get blessed with that allows you to have a body where maybe she doesn't put on weight as easy. I don't know, whatever the circumstances are, but you just get the genetic lottery where you just look the way you look. Proportions, length and limbs and shit and, you know, cheekbones. And you you get all the riches from that because usually, from my experience, again, um, you know, I'm a fashion guy. It's very rare if you look like a model that you don't get scouted eventually. It might not be now, it might be later, but eventually if you look like, if you've got very model-esque features or you look very freakishly, you know, striking, somebody's going to notice you and want to give you an opportunity to make some money by standing, you know, and posing around in some clothes that you couldn't afford. People are going to do that and you're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a good little run, you're going to get your money and you're going to continue living your life. But you had the opportunity to kind of, extract everything that you could from that opportunity and she probably had probably more so than anybody because she's white and blonde so the opportunities probably you know are um are heightened somewhat especially when it comes to women women obviously earn far more in modeling than men do so great you did it bow out gracefully there is honestly a skill there's already something to be heralded and to be kind of um lauded for the person because i've always said this as well this is kind of an adage i live by i don't want to be the old guy in the back of the club and also, I'm very, very conscious about being the guy that knows when to leave a house party. You know, after you go to an afters, after a night out, especially an afters, you go to a party, you go to a rave somewhere, you're having a good time, you're getting high, you're getting drunk, you have, you're raving, you you found some new friends, a smoking area, they invite you back to an afters, you don't know who these people are, you go to the afters, you're hanging out, and it's usually a bit of an anticlimax from when you went to the club, right? It's never it's never as good as you think it's going to be. It's usually just six people in a room, you know, snorting whatever left they got, snorting whatever's left over, drinking warm beers and talking nonsense. There's a time, there's a perfect window of time where if you stay longer, you know, you might just upset the, the ambience of the space. People might think, you know, I don't know, whatever. And there's a time when you leave it just at the right time where people are going to be like, oh no, don't leave. And they're going to be like longing to see you again. It probably won't materialize because usually, you know, whoever you exchange numbers with uh, and afters, you rarely keep in touch for longer than maybe a couple of months. But still, there's a skill to leaving an afters or an house party at the right time and not being too much of a bother, not being too much of a ball ache and just leaving, not, you know, having vomit over your jumper or missing your phone or whatnot. Just leave, leave with grace with your head, held, with your head held up high. Maybe not too late. Maybe not at flipping 11 a.m. in the morning. Just leave. Leave before someone tells you you have to leave. And the same thing comes with this lady. Your time is up, lady. Like, your time is up. You're going to compete with... And again, anyway, let's continue with the article. I'm just raving about it. So again, she looks brilliant. Like, I'm sure there's other guys there that will be super into her. Maybe not 20, 30, 20 year olds or 30 year olds, but I'm sure there's plenty of guys out there. It continues, it says, Some women say it kicks in at 40. Others, when they finally let themselves go, great. Sorry. Virginia Woolf described the phenomenon in Mrs. Dalloway in 1925, age 43. In 2005, 47-year-old Kate Bush summed it up in How to Be Invisible with the lyrics, hem of an anorak, stem of a wallflower, hair of a, do hair of a doormat. The actress whose roles dry up and windows left... Uh, who, who, sorry. The actress whose roles dry up, the widows left off guest list, bar presence network, 
um, social attraction diminished, the female invisibility cloak falls heaviest on those um, most used to being looked at as well as or instead of listened to at uh, and the time before it smothers you, speeds up with every child you have. Yo, are they trying to make us feel are they trying to make us feel bad for really attractive people maybe not being attractive until the day they die? Are you for real? This is what I should be feeling sad for or I should feel bad for you because you don't sorry you're not as hot as you were when you were 20 when you're fucking 56 years old or maybe you're not as attractive to younger guys as you were like are you insane? Is this I'm sure when she was 18 and somebody 56 tried to say, oh, I was really hot when I was 18. Would you have given that guy a chance? And he's 56. Of course not. You want to go out with a jock or with a popular guy in your school. You don't care about a 56-year-old guy. <sighs> so it. Um, she says here, people between 50 and 80 reporting feeling 10 years younger than their chronological age. I'll say someone else says Nancy Pachana, a 56-year-old professor of the psychology of University of Queensland and the co-director of the Aging Mind Initiative. She says, so you might easily feel 40, but it's as though you no longer exist. <laughs> It continues, yeah, it says, it's a slow fade, says Porus Cova. Like the boiled frog, you don't know until you're gone. It has. It was around the same time my marriage fell apart. My husband was no longer interested in me. And as he started looking around, I realized I was invisible to the population at large. It made me feel really invisible, really terrible about myself. And also, you know what? I call bullshit on this. I'm oh, sorry, I call bullshit. I've been around enough guys to know that most guys, you know, don't really have options. They just get what they're given, right? Especially because usually it's the woman that has to select. The woman has to say, yes, I want you. And then you have a chance. And then even then you can still mess it up, right? Because I don't think guys understand that when it comes to the dating process or the seduction process, you can do something, you can maybe wear something and it could completely make the girl just, you know, you could be invisible to a girl very, very quickly. If you do the wrong thing, you say the wrong thing, you wear the wrong thing, or you just move your body in a weird way. It's like girls, um, girls, red flags and things that kind of rule you out are really long. So that's the fact that, you know, that's why I'm, the word I'm mentioning is because it puts the onus on the selection, usually on a woman. So guys don't really have an, a choice in this matter. But for the most part, most guys that I know have a thing for older women especially if they've had good relationships with their mum. It's a bit weird to saying, well, sick to say that, but in general, that kind of motherly, warm person always goes down well with guys. I've always found it. Every place I've worked, an older lady has always been somebody that a lot of guys have said, yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would. Most of them have always said that sort of thing, especially if they're kind of mildly attractive. So this idea that somehow this supermodel, again, I'm just talking about regular office ladies, like receptionists and shit and hairdressers or whatnot, right? Who are really chatty and fun and just have a real kind of motherly warm energy about them. People are into them, let alone a flipping supermodel who still looks like a one percenter in terms of looks wise, even though she's 56. Like she's chatting shit. Like maybe the places she's going to, of course, if she's going to a fucking content house, a TikTok party, she's definitely not going to attract those guys. But most clubs in most places, a guy would definitely try and make a move on her. Now, would she be interested in it is another thing. Maybe that's what she means. The kind of girl that she wants isn't talking to her. That's one thing. But to say no men are talking to you at all, that's a lie. Like, I don't believe it. It's a complete lie. Because again, men are starving out there, especially with the pandemic. They're hungry. They're thirsty. Like, give them some some drop of water and they'll be gargling you all day long. I know, gross to say that but it's true so this woman saying that no one's looking at me no one's looking at me like come on stop lying it says here the only way um to gain visibility in our society is to look younger if you look your age nobody will listen to you and if you want to heard you can't look your age and if you want to be heard you can't look I, no she's trying she, she's lying look what she looked like when she was younger and look what she looks like now come on man come on um, it says here, that's why she's taken to Instagram on the internet. Everyone can hear you scream. Even as Paulina Proskova um, feels her presence diminishing in real life, she has since her divorce get built up a base of 700,000 people who follow her one woman resistance movements against being gently, sorry, against going gently into the good night. They comment on her bikini shoots, nudes, yes nudes, and no matter kept selfies in their thousands, although not always kindly, there are those mostly men, but not exclusively who tell her to keep house and her clothes on instead. Now, I wouldn't say that. Again, I would not commenting on people's profiles like that but if i was i'll just tell her to grow up i'll tell her accept the fact that you're getting older like the rest of us and just enjoy the twilight of your years what are you doing spending the rest of the 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 remaining years of your life trying to chase guys that are not interested in you 
Like, what is it with women that want dudes that don't want them? Like, I don't understand. It's from the whole Khloe Kardashian, Tristan Thomas thing to this. Why are you chasing dudes that don't want you? Dudes who are quite shallow in that they only want really young girls who are really hot, right? They don't really care about their personality or whether or not you could be a better fit for them. No, they just want a girl that's really hot and really young so they can kind of show off to their friends. Cool, it's shallow, it's a bit creepy, whatever. That's what they're into. Why are you competing with those kind of, why are you competing for the love and attention of those type of dudes when they're clearly not going to be set up in a position where they're going to be a good partner for you anyway? Because what's a 56-year-old woman want a 30-year-old guy to do for her anyway? She's pretty successful. She's probably pretty rich and pretty well off. What's a 36-year-old guy going to do for her, really? Like, what is he going to offer that she can't offer, she can't get from somebody maybe closer to her age or maybe closer to life experience? Forget age, life experience doesn't make any sense it's such a it's, it's a bizarre conundrum and again it goes to the show the thing of like i just think being that old and being such an attention seeker and wanting men to still desire you in that way is maybe a form of mental illness because you have to realize that you had your time you had your time in the sun like everybody does i'm sure when i was younger i looked hotter than i do now i don't think i look hot in general but in general i'm sure i did like everyone else did you had a period in time where you looked great then you start to look not so great but you try and maintain and you try and you know make the best of what you have in that moment that's it it's all you can do but this idea you can trick people into believing that you're younger than what you look like no you look the way you look mostly if people guess your age they'll be right and that's it that's your that's your lot like i don't understand this and it says, yeah, I started posting the same kind of pictures that have been taken of me since I was 15. I look good. I didn't realize it would be shocking for a 50-something-year-old woman. Yes, you did, your attention seeker. Shut up. Woman to post in the same bikinis from four years ago that still fit. Oh, this woman's, oh, okay, I'm done now. Man. She's up her own ass so much. It's okay to Google somebody who could be your daughter, but not mature women who know themselves and are mostly likely way better at sex. Yo, this woman's a raging whore, isn't it? What a bad example you're setting to people, bro. 56 and you're still trying to flip it be a thought like what is she doing grow up man like get a cabin somewhere and i don't know tend to some sheep or whatnot or make a or start up a modeling school where you teach women how to navigate the modeling you know what yeah that would be it her time would be better spent setting up an academy for young girls coming up so they can know how to navigate within the modeling world because i'm sure it's flipping a horror show allow them to you know gain some insights maybe give them uh case studies contacts whatever just so they know just so they can be safe instead of parading yourself on instagram as if you're 20 something again do it yourself it doesn't matter parade yourself but then also kind of i won't say scolding but wagging the finger at men younger men for not liking you or not being into you because they're after younger girls like what what an idiot like what an idiot um, but yeah, I'm going to end it there, man. She's driving me insane. I don't want to get too irate now. It's too late to be shouting and making noise. But what an absolute donut, man. Like, people like this, like, ugh, they set such a bad example for the kids. Really, really do. Because I, I'm a big believer in enjoying yourself when you want to enjoy yourself. Like, have a period in time where you just go crazy, right? Like, these young kids on TikTok and shit who've got loads of money. They've got loads of followers. They've got all these brand deals. And they're going crazy. And doing these pranks. Whatever. Enjoy yourself. Then there comes a time where you grow up. It just is a fact of life. You can't be the jackass for the entirety of your life. Even the jackass guys, they're not still doing the same stunts they're doing when they were flipping 20-something. You eventually have to grow up. And I think there is something so admirable and something to be respected for the person who grows up on their own accord. They don't wait for somebody to tell them, you're too old, get the hell out of here. No, they decide of their own accord, this is my time to bow out gracefully. They salute you and they keep it moving. The person who just holds on for dear life to to still get him like still getting upset when they don't get invited to all the cool parties and you know wearing the most um you know seductive thing they can wear to get the attention of young men it just feels so lame and extremely predatory like i said if this was a man that did this and he was looking or acting like this it would be like the internet would explode if a dude says the stuff that she's saying the internet would fucking explode but here she is People are not looking at me the same because I'm older. It's like, duh. <laughs> like, what did you expect? Like, honestly, I don't know. These people are weird. 